Dímelo mi gente, what up? It's your boy Gus from Gus for the Jewelry. In this video, I am going to be answering every single little question you guys have ever had about lab diamonds. We're gonna talk truths, we're gonna talk misconceptions, and we're gonna talk lies. I'm gonna get through every single one of these questions that you guys are burning to know the answer to from someone who is actually in the jewelry world. So I'm making this video because of so many questions that I get on an everyday basis. And there's not a lot of information out there, which is credible. So we're gonna be answering every single thing that you guys wanna know. Question number one, is a lab diamond real? Well, first off, let me explain to you what a lab diamond actually is. There's two ways to create a lab diamond. Number one, HPHT, which mimics what happens in the earth for thousands and millions and billions of years. High heat, high temperature machines compress gas and create an actual diamond. The same thing that happens in earth. There's the second version, which is CVD, chemical vapor deposition. If you actually wanna see inside a warehouse of how they actually make these diamonds, click the link above. We actually went to India and saw firsthand how they actually make them. But ultimately, it's diamond seed growing. They grab a diamond sheet, they throw a series of chemicals on there, and they grow the diamond. Now, at the end of the day, diamond is just 99.99% carbon crystallized, grown from the environment over a span of years. Lab diamond is a real diamond. This isn't like something that's meant to simulate it. It is an actual diamond. The only difference is how it's grown. The perfect example that I've given a thousand times is ice or fire. Is there any difference between the fire that's made from your lighter or the fire on a volcano? Is there any difference between the ice that's made in your fridge or somewhere on top of a mountain? It's the exact same thing. So yes, the answer is a lab diamond is a real diamond which is a perfect segue into the second question. Can you tell the difference between lab diamonds and natural diamonds? No, there is no way to visibly be able to tell between a lab and a natural diamond. They're optically and chemically the exact same thing. For you to be able to tell whether something is a lab diamond, you need special machines. Now there's a bunch of machines out there that can tell the difference and typically what they're looking for is chemicals that are left back from the making of the diamond itself. So in other words, there's some chemicals that are used that leave residue. In addition to that, a diamond when it's in the earth grows a bit different than when it's in a lab. So there's certain little techniques that you use to tell, but that only could be detected from a machine. The naked eye is not going to be able to tell a difference. I guarantee it. You can give me any single jeweler out there who claims that they know the difference by looking into an actual loop. I will bet $100,000 of my own money. It's practically impossible because they are the same thing. Do lab diamonds pass the diamond tester? Yes and no. It just depends on which diamond tester you are using. If you're going for the TikTok diamond tester pen that everybody uses out there, I'm sure you've seen it a million times. They run up to someone in the mall, they hit it with a black square, it beeps diamond. If you're talking about that one, yes, of course, because at the end of the day, it is a diamond. And for all intents and purposes, about 90% of diamond testers out there are going to hit diamond. But the more sophisticated ones are gonna tell you whether they are lab or they are natural. And not because they are trying to detect it, they are more likely trying to verify the price difference because there is a big gap between lab and natural diamonds. The type of person that would have those kind of machines are only jewelry stores or big manufacturers. The regular person isn't going to have these sophisticated machines because they're very expensive. And to be honest with you, sometimes even those can't properly detect whether it's a lab diamond or a natural diamond. I've seen it firsthand many times in the Miami downtown jewelry district. People have purchased for what they thought was natural and it ended up being lab diamonds and they tested it in machines that gave them inaccurate results. So does it pass the diamond tester? 90% of them yes, 10% of them no, and even that 10% is kind of off sometimes. Are lab-grown diamonds okay for engagement rings? The answer simply is yes, of course. Look, for the mere mortals that are watching this video, and I know that all the people in the comment sections are all millionaires, I get it. This isn't for you, right? And you wanna draw $50,000 on an engagement ring. But for the regular working class person who's watching this video, yes, if you wanna get your wife, 
husband, whatever, a diamond, and you don't wanna break the bank in doing so, you can get them a lab diamond. It's perfectly fine. Because I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. Is someone gonna run up on me and put a diamond tester on it and is it gonna beep that it's fake? I understand that there is some sort of skepticism and you're scared, but the reality is it's a diamond. You're not buying some sort of sapphire or a CZ or a rhinestone or a moissanite. Not that there's anything wrong with these stones, but you are purchasing a diamond. So yes, you don't have to spend an arm and a leg, get into some sort of financial trouble. There are a lot better things to spend when you are starting off a brand new relationship with a person, perhaps a home, a car, whatever else you wanna do, than some sort of stone that you're gonna put on there. So it's a lot less money. You don't have to put yourself in such a financial strain. It is a diamond. And at the end of the day, it sparkles just like a natural one. Are lab diamonds worth anything? The simple answer is no. They have no resale value whatsoever. But let me explain to you why lab diamonds still make more sense than natural diamonds. Say for instance, you get on one knee and you ask your spouse to marry you. You go out there and you wanna buy a two carat stone. That two carat stone in natural can cost you anywhere from 25 to $30,000. In lab, which again is the exact same thing, is gonna cost you anywhere from two to $3,000. Now let's say for instance, she cheated on you, you caught her in bed with someone else, and now you're getting a divorce. So now it's time to sell that ring to try to recoup some of that money back. If you go and try to sell that lab diamond, they are going to give you zero dollars. So you are out two to three thousand dollars. However, for those people thinking that you had it better going the natural way, here is where the problem lies. You spent 20 or thirty thousand dollars on that. But when you go back to that jewelry store thinking that you're gonna at least recuperate 90 percent of it, in reality, you're only gonna get five to seven thousand dollars at best. So you are out anywhere from 20 to to $15,000 and that's the reality of natural versus lab. Whenever you buy a natural diamond, the minute you walk out that store, you just lost 90% of the value of that. So what would you rather do? Lose all of your two to $3,000 or lose 90% of your 25 to $35,000? The next couple of questions are gonna be quick answers, just cause I know these are some of the things that may be lingering in your mind and you wanna get the quick answer to. Can you distinguish moissanite and lab diamonds? No, for the most part. There are some people that will be able to tell. Usually it's gonna be someone who has been in the industry and is looking for specific things. The moissanite won't have that many inclusions. It's also cut very, very sharp cause they're not really caring about weight and it sparkles with a lot more of a rainbowy refractment of light. The diamond shines white, it just looks slightly different but again the answer would be no they look almost identical but of course if you do hit them in the sun the sparkle is kind of the dead giveaway are lab grown diamonds a scam it just depends on how you look at it if you're thinking about something where you want some sort of money back when you go resell it then yeah lab diamonds technically would be a scam because you're not going to get any of the money back but what's a bigger scam this whole marketing scheme of letting you guys know that these stones randomly were all rare and it had been a lie this whole time and it's really the fact that this company is choking the supply i figure that's more of a scam than just some guys telling you hey man there's no resale value in this made up stone why don't people buy lab diamonds? It's really just the stigma of them being created in a lab as opposed to something that's been created a billion years in the earth. It's just the publicity of the beers that has indoctrined people for over a hundred years now. Diamonds are rare. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Oh, that's just a lie. Funny enough, I was watching Michael the Producer's channel, who's a big time influencer, and he asked Martin Rappaport. Rappaport is the creator of a sheet that gives the value of diamonds on a month to month basis he was asked why natural diamonds are better and the answer that he came up with was one of the most ridiculous cringe things i've ever seen and i'm not against lab grown diamonds what i'm against the fact is that a man-made diamond whose price goes down to almost nothing that you're going to see a walmart for 299 dollars and you're paying ten thousand dollars for it now i'm against that replacing the emotional gift of commitment Plus, which is the basis of the diamond business it's got to be valuable but you Martin, give the woman something when you give her a piece playing, of garbage playing devil's advocate yeah not everybody can go out and afford a two carat d flawless diamond so buy a half carat that's my point so the person that's receiving this diamond they would rather have a larger no, diamond no, a better no, color no, that's, that's, that doesn't that doesn't hurt their future husband i don't right? buy that i don't buy that you that's what i say she wants him to feel pain she does. She wants him to she's feel his financial pain. She wants him to make a commitment. Why? 
because she wants him to show her he loves her. Just the fact that no one can give me a straight answer as to why natural diamonds are so expensive and when you go to resell them, they're absolute garbage. Just because no one's been able to tell me that there's no difference between natural diamonds and lab diamonds are the reasons I'm such a big believer. Finally, why are lab diamonds better? They're cheaper, it's the exact same thing. You can get higher cuts and clarities for the money. And overall, I'm not going to say that lab diamonds are the most environmentally friendly because they certainly not. The machines that they use to make these CVDs consume a lot of power, but a lot of places like Surat and in other places in India and Russia are now using solar power to power these huge machines that create these diamonds and it's just more sustainable. Please, whatever you do, don't eat up that narrative. That natural diamonds is helping communities in Africa, there is an extensive amount of research that you could do as to where really that money is going and who's really benefiting from these natural diamonds you guys are purchasing. Hopefully this answers any of your questions. Of course, if you guys have any more or if you guys have any other questions that I did not answer, I will answer them in the comments below and who knows, we can also make another video with some follow-ups that you guys had. So please drop a comment down below and let me know if there are any other questions that you guys have or if you agree or even disagree with me. I love to have this conversation. I hope you enjoyed the video. Share it, like it, comment, and subscribe. We will catch you guys in the next one. Hi.